And there he is, Martinius Prime, now in his ultimate form with his fancy armor, his Amulet of Kings, and an Elder Scroll strapped to his back, ready to face the world with mighty, mighty powers. I can't have a notice since I've loaded in here. There's a lady uh, who was not here before, who I assume is going to talk to us about something. Yep, here we go. Go on then. Hello. We don't get many visitors. Is there something you need? Uh... The fuck? Madam, you walked up to me. Who are you? Speak. Verona Nellis? Who is she? Talvis is Master Nelloth's apprentice. If you're interested in spells, <laughs> he might be willing to sell you some. Ah. Elenia is our alchemist. Uh -huh. Wolves runs the kitchens. Uh-huh. She's from Solstein? Until next time. Why the fuck is she here? Uh, are you okay? You know what? Forget about it. Uh, she's following us around for reasons that I don't quite know, to be honest with you. I think she thinks she's in Soul's time. She's very confused. Need something? Yeah, I need you to... Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah, stop following me, you strange lady. Is she still coming along? Yeah, she is. So, anyway, yesterday, we, of course, got 100 enchanting and uh, finally enchanted all of our very powerful Martinius robes. Uh, a lot of people are saying I should throw some resistances on here, especially magical resistances, and I do kind of agree with that. What we've got going on right now is kind of a mixed bag, but mostly magicka benefits and buffs that I honestly don't think we'll need. We're going to have to go to Raven Rock soon. We're running low on some things. Madam, I don't know who you are. Um, better when we can fire our most powerful spell there and use up maybe a twentieth of our total magicka. So we are very, 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 very powerful. So what I'm thinking is, why don't we nip back over to Winterhold quickly, see if they've got any other powerful spells, maybe Alteration, maybe uh, somebody said there was a better Sunbeam spell we can buy. Um, obviously, the Beam spells tend to be quite heavy on Magicka. Then we'll go do a random quest. Now, what I'm thinking of doing for the quest is, we got a message from Folk Firebeard, which is probably a follow-up to the Patima quest that we had before. Obviously, we stopped the Necromancers and their ritual, but we saw Patima fly off. Is she going to follow us through here as well? Is she just going to be someone who follows us around for the rest of the game? Because if so, I'm just going to add her, as a, uh, add her as a companion. I'd rather that than just have this strange lady following us around through the rest of the game. We good? I've been looking for oh, and he goes got post. Sorry, I won't interrupt. Uh, is it a museum opening up in... A new museum opening oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> and he probably has about 100 of those at this point. Brilliant, well done. Okay, well, maybe she's gone away now. Okay, so... Let's head to Winterhold. Radiant Sunbeam? I mean, it's the only beam spell I can see here. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I'll, I'll leave it down to you guys. If there is something I missed, let me know. Until next time. So here's the letter from Fault Firebeard. I don't want to spend too long pissing around with spells, like I said. Martini, over the last few days, we have some disturbing information come to light regarding the events of Wolf Skull Cave and the summoning and binding ritual you interrupted there. Given your involvement with that plan, I'm, event, I'm asking you to return Solitude to help us once more. Where I put all the details in print, please come see me at the Blue Phallus. Sincerely, Falk Firebeard. Falk. The courier must have found you. You sent a message. Yes, old friend. I'm afraid it's not good news. May when you broke up the binding, Hotema escaped. We have encountered some of her minions. Oh. Steer says she's still in spirit form. Or we'd all be dead already. You've already done us a service in stopping the binding. Uh -huh. but I need you to go talk to him to see if Steer can tell us what to do next. Okay, done. Who's Steer? He's Solitude's priest of Arcane. He's the one who figured out Potema was still around. Oh, we knew, we, we actually knew what's since that guy's house once, didn't we? That cheese on the plate keeps moving. It's bugging me out. Uh, I'll talk to Steer. We'll figure something. Well, Thank you. Be careful. Thank you, Falk. Okay. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, we know where he is, I think. It's, a, it's, a, it's like this house directly across the uh, directly across the way just before you turn into town, isn't it? Let's go, then. In you go. We've got a new adventure to vanquish an ancient spirit of a long-dead queen. Was Putima a septim? She was an emperor's daughter, right? I honestly don't remember. Let's go have a look. Hello. Here to help you wipe out the spirit of a long dead potentially lich hello you must be the one folk spoke so highly of oh uh, he sent me to talk to you about patima ah patima 
former queen of solitude and one of the most dangerous necromancers in recorded history. Uh -huh. She was responsible for the empire's near collapse almost 500 years ago. Oh, wow. I, I have a book about her. I won't read it, but thank you. And now that Patuma has returned. Summoned in spirit form is not raised from the dead. She'll need help before she can return to the living. All right, then. For the moment, the wolf queen has retreated to a place filled with dead, eager to serve her. She has gone to her old catacombs. A few days ago, one of her servants busted through a wall into the Temple of Divines. We'll need you to go into the catacombs themselves. Oh, okay. Uh, I can do that. Good. Being at the summoning created a connection to Potema. You are the one to do this. Oh, okay I then. I can provide you with some help with her minions. I'm all right, Potema trust herself, me. Find what's left of her body. Likely a skeleton. They've come to the, like the perfect person the for this, haven't they? And bring it back to be sanctified by RK. All right then. Uh, let's do it then. May RK bless you with a long life. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Although he looks like he already fucking has, apparently. That man over there is easily 800, 900 years. You, you help me. You help people, right? That's what you do. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> We've got enough things going on, thank you. Strange man with dark eyes and very spooky spooky tendrils coming out from those said dark eyes. That's not something that I'm interested in. The Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Rothbard. Did you just stand there and comment Such on thing has not happened us? For hundreds of years. Good lord. Right, so broken through, is it like down here? Nope. Uh, ah, here we go. Uh, through here. Uh, nope. <laughs> through here. Ah, there you go. Oh, Jesus. In you go. Prepare yourself. Knowledge of your divinity carry us through our daily trials. Thank you. Knowledge of your divinity carry us through our daily trials. Potamus Catacombs. Right. Radiant Sunbeam it is. Look at his thumb. Do you see Martinius' thumb? What the hell's wrong with him? Thumb on his right hand. Look. Oh, is it just dirt? I think it's just dirt. Okay. Oh. This place is lovely. Shouldn't have ruined it. Right. You've arrived at last. Oh, the hello. Hero who prevented me from being bound returns to my fold. I have yes. much to thank you for, little one. When you die, you okay, I will raise you, and you can take your place by my side. You'll serve me soon enough. Pow! I won't. Trust me, I won't. Many people have tried, and now we come on with the Amulet of Kings. This is what we were born Kapow. Depressing. That wasn't actually as powerful as I was expecting. I was, I was genuinely expecting kind of a... Let's try, let's try a blast instead then, shall we? Let's go, um, Reflective Light. Alright, here we go. I'm expecting Martinius to just flick his wrist and for all the undead to disintegrate at this stage. We are here for unlimited power and only unlimited it's power. Hello. Yep, that'll do it. Hello there. What a lovely place you've got. Volkahar vampires. Oh, vampires are serving her? I suppose they are undead, aren't they? Brilliant. Well, this'll be interesting. <laughs> oh, Potema. Can Potema wear the Amulet of Kings if she's the daughter of an emperor? You'd assume so. She must, she must be able to, right? Now, this is a really good tell of how powerful Martinius has become, you know. Um, just simply because these enemies we would have been able to incinerate before now. So it's kind of difficult to tell whether or not we've gained any strength since then. 44 Conjuration. Oh, because we cast Soul Cloak. I see. Are you going to wake up or do you want me to just... Brilliant. It's when we fight Patema or whatever the boss is of this area that we'll find out just how powerful we really are. Oh, plenty of potions. And you guys seem to be on fire. Do you know anything about that? I think it's because his sword sets the undead on fire, isn't it? Because he's using... Oh, my God. Imagine being Potema, right? Who turns up? The Archmage, who also happens to be Dragonborn, who also happens to be wearing the Amulet of Kings and have some incredibly powerful armor with an Elder Scroll on his back. And then also, Palinor Whitestrike, <laughs> whose sword incinerates the undead. 
What a horrible day to be a necromancer. Hello. Somebody said that the, uh, on, on last episode, that the, uh, the, the kind of sound that plays when we get into combat is probably the sound of the dragon flesh spell Tolfia made kicking in to give us all of our armor value. Oh, dear. I want to go fight something powerful. You know, fight like a dragon or something would be good to really test our... Test our might, wouldn't it? Test your might. Careful there. Inigo, watch out for that trap. He's not going to watch out for that trap. Is he okay? Inigo? Well, I'm sure he'll catch up. Oh, there he is. Hello. Well, it's not, there's only one way down. Oh, no. We can get back up if we want to. If we get scared and have to leave... And here a drowner. Hello? Oh, there you are. You know what? Our spells are strong, for sure. But they are not like... They're not insta-kill, are they? Maybe we've just hit that point of the game where the enemies are starting to get just as powerful, perhaps, as we are. Can we open that from here and not be affected? Brilliant. Uh, let's get... Yeah, I was going to say, maybe make sure we haven't got whirlwinds. Uh, oh, I'm relenting for still equipped. Maybe on Potema, that's when we should... Have these walls Great question. Maybe that's when we pull out the, um... The, the superpower that we've got. You know, it's how the saves are taking longer now. I might have to delay them a little bit, just so it's not so, so much of an interruption constantly. Because that is, uh... I guess our save game is probably getting pretty tanky at this point, eh? With all the crap that we've picked up. Right, Patema's Refuge. Let me go fix the save game quickly. Hopefully that should be a little bit better. It just means if we die, we're going to lose a little bit more progress. But that's okay. I think we're maybe less likely to die now. So, might not need to worry about it so much. Well, he was called Draugr Deathlord. It'd be kind of a surprise if he didn't die, eh? Man, this place is huge. Some old Nordic burial chamber. Right, so one of these is going to kill us, eh? Oh, we, we have to stop the doors at the right time, right? Oh, that's not it. Well, I fucked it. Oh, no. What was, that? was that supposed to be happening? <laughs> uh, there you go. Thought I heard some. Hold on. <laughs> don't. You will. Bollocks. We were going to say don't hurt any go, and I just ended up hurting him myself. You okay? You good? I am here for you. Good, thank you. Let us go. Uh, now what do we do? We pull like this one. Oh, hang on, I remember. Then you do this one. We might as well keep that one going too, because the chance of us actually having it dead on is very, very unlikely. I think. What? Stop that one. Hello. Close enough. All right. Okay. Maybe we we're supposed to go the other way first. Not entirely sure. Oh, man, this place is massive. Could be here for a while. Hello? You've come far, mortal. No doubt you seek to enter Potema's sanctum. I can see to that. We'll need plenty of fresh corpses. To... <laughs> <laughs> we'll need plenty of fresh corpses to... <laughs> ah! Was that supposed to be threatening? Imagine chatting shit to somebody who walks in wearing the Amulet of Kings. The power of the sun in each hand, especially as a vampire. You've gone far mortal. <gasps> but I never did a little bit there. Oh. Okay. Almost level 40, too. I don't know what the hell we're going to do. Oh, somebody said as well that it was a really, a really great suggestion. Of course, in the smithing, uh, sorry, in the alteration tree, there's the alter self perk, which allows you to put 50 points instantly into any skill. We could put that in. We could put that in smithing and make Inigo or any companions uh, some really, really powerful gear. And more importantly, we could see if there's like... I believe this adds the ability to craft robes out of dragon bone. Which wouldn't be as good as what we've got going now, for sure. But it might be a bit more balanced, because I think we're honestly going to steamroll everything. And more importantly, it will allow us to put this stuff back in the gallery. So... And I think the value would go up. You know, here's the robes of yada yada yada. Enchanted by the last dragonborn. I think that would increase the sale value, you know? Oh! 
Rotten Body Landslide. Not much further. Not my favorite Cannibal Corpse song, Sir. but uh, oh, yeah. I have any claws, wowie. Sir? Oh, come on. Come on now. Potema. You made a mistake. Kapang. We good? Sorry, Inigo. It's okay. He's wearing the armor of Pearl and the White Strike. He can't really hum. He's okay. He's, he's fine. Don't worry about it. Could you imagine if we still had Lydia at this point? Brandon Lydia, Lydia was uh, non-essential. Oh my god, she died Ms. Resurrect. That's incredible. Lydia was non-essential. And we did something like that. Just immediately incinerated her. Who do you think she got to carve all these reliefs? Hi there, I'm looking for a, uh, a skilled carver to make necromantic reliefs for my... Uh... Oh no, you know what we gotta do. You've come far, but can you stand against my inner council? Let's see. I'm okay. Don't waste your magic. I think we're killing them. Kind of hard to tell, isn't it? You know, I don't think this spell's doing anything. All right, fine. Can you stand against my inner council? How about one of these? Kaboom! <laughs> Rip the eyes from his head. Oh, my eyes. I need those. Potima, who am I fighting? Well, not that it matters. Oh. Oh, there she goes. Where's she going this time? Into that door. Defeat Potima. Is that it? Really? All we did was blow ourselves up twice. I suppose that's probably a bit more epic if you're not a extremely powerful restoration master, like the ultimate foil to a necromancer. Oh, it's, it's occurred to me, a lot of the enemies, like the big strong enemies in this game are undead, aren't they? Liches, all the dragon priests, the draugr, which are in almost all the barrows that are essential to the dragonborn portion or the Nord portions of the storyline. Vampires, which are the entire facet of a, of a DLC. We did pretty much build a hard counter to a lot of enemies. And of course, with our beam spells as well, those are incredibly effective against dragons. Like crap, we, we, the only one that might be uh, an actual enemy against us could be like, oh, there she is. Like what, the Ebony Warrior or something? Hello. Oh, you want to fight now? Brilliant. Well done, Inigo. I guess I'll take her ectoplasm. Potamus skull. We could put that in a gallery. I assume that would go in our Hall of Secrets, eh? Uh, return to Fault Firebeard and give Potamus remains to Steer. The Legend of... She's got a book. Okay, Restoration. Card of Travelers. And then we got the Copper Opal Circlet. Hunting Bow. Sneak. Ah, oh, it's a sneak book. I see. It's a fucking just random novel that she's been hanging on to. Is that it? Is that the treasure from the great Potema? We got Drain Life spell. That's kind of cool. Oh, is that a way to get Drain Life whilst also not being a vampire? The fact that she's got this fancy door and everything. That's it. It's a bit disappointing. Now I've only got this worthless head of an ancient necromancer. What am I going to do with this? Let's try and hear. There's got to be a secret or something, right? Nothing? We did kind of wipe the floor with it, to be fair. That was that was a little bit a little bit cruel, honestly. That's why I'm more than up for uh brilliant. That's why I'm more than up for building our own set of armor. Especially now if this was in base game Skyrim, I wouldn't feel so bad, but because it's a modded item designed to be crazy over the top, I kind of feel bad using it for everything, because obviously it's not balanced very well. <laughs> Someone else made another good point in the comment section yesterday, actually. That, um, that because there's a way to get everything, it makes the world feel very small. And I do very much agree with that as well. And they've used the analogy of Star Wars, and that's actually an analogy I've used before. Um, in fact, there's a whole three-hour video on it on this channel where me and Elise want to watch the new Star Wars movie. We did a, a three-hour long kind of discussion on it. One of the points I bring up in that is the Star Wars world feels extremely small when you have the same characters coming back when Lando came back specifically. It, it made it feel extremely small scope. Uh, and this is also 
kind of the problem that you've got is that Tamriel is supposed to be a continent as big as I mean uh, given the given the size of the actual planet I mean it's as big as you know Eurasia and Africa I suppose too um with Akavir I guess being the analog for for the Americas and you've got these artifacts from all over this this what is essentially supposed to be a huge world oh why did I come in here uh, all falling into the hands of the single... They all very, are very conveniently in the same place. But you've also got to suspend a lot of disbelief in that. The whole point is you're collecting things. And a lot of these are modded artifacts added after the fact, you know? Somebody individually thought, wouldn't it be fun to have the Amulet King show up in Skyrim? And if you just had that, it wouldn't be so out of place. Um, and then someone else individually thought, well, it'd be cool to get the Catals of Kagranet, in particular, as there's already precedent for that in Skyrim. Again, yeah, that's, that does kind of make sense. But when you combine them all together in one big mod pack, it does feel a little bit weird. But again, that's why you have to suspend a bit of disbelief. It's good to see you again. She's dead. You've done a great thing today. It doesn't matter who you support in the war, but Tama would have been a blight on the land for both sides. Without you, this would have been a disaster. I should have paid more heed to Varnius's warnings. I won't make that mistake again. Well, she's dead. You won't have to. Twat. The Jarl would thank you, <laughs> but she very much wants to keep Potamus return quiet. Make no mistake. We consider you a protector of solitude. Great. We got the Shield of Solitude. Actually, no, that's good because we need that for the gallery, don't we? Shield of Solitude. There it is. It's kind of cool. I like what they, I mean, it looks fantastic, like graphically. Wow. Look at that ray tracing. It's not ray tracing. <laughs> but, you know, buzzword, buzzword. But, yeah, no, I, I get it. You know, especially with a mod pack like this, you do have to suspend your disbelief a little bit when it comes to all of these items kind of coalescing, particularly as, as this has essentially been made by hundreds of different people at this stage, all with different visions and all with different opinions. And, again, I think if it was just the Amulet of Kings, it wouldn't, it, you know, it wouldn't be such a problem. And not that it is necessarily a problem. It's a, also, it's a mod pack about collecting things. You kind of go into it expecting that. But it, I agree, it would be very weird if it was just base game in Skyrim, you know? Right. My friend. You've returned. It's done. Uh, excellent. These things do have a way of working out when people take action. I'll sanctify the remains. What a bizarre thing to I say. I hope made it clear that Solitude owes you a debt of gratitude. Kind of, yeah. What a weird thing to say. These things resolve themselves and people take action. No shit. <laughs> ah, you're referring to literally everything I see. I too am a man who likes to refer to literally everything that's ever happened. We thought she was just going to randomly give up. Just disappear off in a puff of smoke. Right. Well, what have we learned from that? We've learned that an ancient necromancer feared by an entire town of solitude, the most powerful town in Skyrim, uh, was... What are you looking at? Weird. Um, was... Well, annihilated in literally two shots from our Nova spell. I think we're very powerful. Maybe a little bit too powerful. Why don't we see what other miscellaneous quests we've got? Because that felt like a bit... I was kind of hoping that would be like a whole episode, you know? Uh, kind of a cool thing to see, the return of Patema. And then we basically just sneezed a couple of times. And, oh, not this off. I, I made a replica and then we picked up another one from uh, Blackreach. So I put the replica up here. Housekeeping? Yeah, I, literally. Thank you. Uh... Oh. That's something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Who? Let's see. You're talking to one of the museum guests. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Oh, I thought it was... Oh, there you are. He had a letter for Avram. <coughs> I thought it was going to be about the museum opening. I was going to say, you can't come into a museum and tell people to go to another museum. We find out what I did to Pertama. Uh, Orion. Ah, good day, Do you have anything for me? Doesn't look like it. Okay. <sighs> so let's drop over our artifacts then. And then check one of our... Oh, sorry. Uh, drop our artifacts and check one of the many, many things we've got going on for us, eh? Orion's notes on the tools of Kagranak. Oh, so that's... Okay. Quest complete, I assume. I guess maybe that's after you've completed the quest. If you happen to come across it, I guess it doesn't start a quest. Otherwise, that would have quite literally just given us free XP there, I, I assume. Let's try it again. Maybe if we read it again. Uh, no, see, we've already read it. So I guess it's just a bit of backstory there. Okay, four new displays. Skull of Potema. I guess we can make a replica, is that it? Uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, there it is, Potema's skull. What do we need for that? 
Just a, a, a skull. Anybody's skull. Yes, here is the skull of Potema. It's not actually. It's just someone else's skull. We're just calling it that. <laughs> right, let's have a look then. What else have we got to do then? March of the Dead. Oh, that's for... Okay, so that... We won't, we won't touch those because those are for Solstein. Uh, Delphine and Riverwood. Horn of Young and Windcaller. Oh, we probably should return that, shouldn't we? Right, okay. What else have we got to do? Oh, we could do the Book of Wonders as well. To get Maurus' Codex, one of the rare items added by this. Uh, apparently, it's got some really unique mechanic for the gallery as well. So, we'll, um, we could we could definitely crack both of these out today. Because both, obviously, we've sort of already done. Um, the shrines, you just quite literally have to go to. Uh, they're not marked on the map. You kind of expect to just do... Oh, no, they are. Wait, what? Oh, no, they are now. Maybe because we already found the... Yeah, so those were just points we've got to visit. And this one, obviously, is just go back to High Hrothgar, give them the horn. Um... And listen to them be angry about the blades or whatever. And that tidies up our quest log quite nicely. I, I kind of want to commit to going through our quest log and... Uh, and tidying it up a lot before we take on a new guild. I know I said we'd start a new guild. I really do want to do the Thieves Guild soon. Um, but I think we've got enough on our plate already. So we'll press on. Someone sent me a recipe for one of the cocktails in, uh, in Skyrim called the White Gold Tower, and I think we're probably going to try it. It's maybe like, quite literally like honey liqueur, like uh, like mead, basically. Uh, we're going to use mead just because that's easy to find. And cream, and it sounds really good. Uh, where is he? Old man. What's his name? Arngear? Arngear. Ah, you've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Wimkall. I have. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Thank you. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. His mouth is really low frame rate for some reason. <laughs> you are ready to learn the final word of unrelenting. Aha. Uh -huh. I want to rob their books afterwards because as I recall, the Greybeards have a lot of good books that we probably can't get anywhere else. Uh, we'll have a look through. I'm sure they won't mind. If we say, you know, the Dragonborn needs your books, the Greybeards are... You know, I feel like they, they kind of are indebted to us in some way. Can you imagine Bori playing the flute with the power of the voice? My god. Da. Da. Oh, there it is. Oh. With all oh, there three it is. words together, this shout is much more powerful. Use it wisely. I will. Master Wolfgar will now gift you with his knowledge of da. Go, Wolfgar. Oh, yeah. Someone, someone pointed this out yesterday that we do look like a cooler version of the Greybeards, and I do kind of agree. Dragon, we would speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards, but you are ready. Indra Saran Strundul Is this the unbridled voice? I hate the fact that it vibrates for like a few seconds, even though they're still talking. Oh, this one's a bit better, isn't it? Oh, or not. I don't think it was quite as cool a moment as Bethesda wanted it to be. <laughs> Dover King, you have tasted the voice of the Greybeards. Oh, it's so tasty. Mm. Unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. Wow, and there we are. We leveled up, hit level 40, just as we completed the third main quest. Mirror, Phantom Decoy. What the hell is that, I wonder? Deceive Phantom Deco. We learned another. Oh. Acolyte of the Voice. We got a new quest then, eh? Explore the High Hrothgar Library. Oh. I was going to do that anyway and rob everything not nailed down, but they don't need to know that. What have you got for me? The Alderine Akatosh Dichotomy. Very nice. Uh, look for any books that may fit into my gallery. For reference, you know, in defeating Alduin. This place is a lot more luxurious than I remember. 
Okay. Should we go and explore the library then? You look unwell, my friend. You look unwell? Do we? Have oh, we got a disease or something and I just haven't noticed? Oh, yeah. <gasps> we caught vampirism while we were in there. Oh, shit. Uh, not again. No, 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 no. I'm all right. Uh, especially because it broke the game last time. Uh, cure. Not anymore. Thank you, Inigo. That would have been disastrous otherwise. Right, so where's this bloody library then? Oh, uh, J for journal. I can like the voice. Uh, explore High Rothgar Library. Okay. And then we'll go and get the Book of Wonders as well. We do love books, don't we? Lovely Martinius loves his lovely books. It's a new area they've added. Ah, this is where the, uh... This is where you can broker a truce between both sides if you progress too far in the storyline without picking a civil war side. Something I've never actually done before. But where the fuck do we go? What? Oh, oh. My bad. <laughs> the stairs? Oh, here we are. Oh, they have added a new area. Weird. What is this then, I wonder? Oh, hello. Oh, is it is that a house? For your companions, perhaps? Oh, that's kind of cool. Or maybe it's supposed to be a... Oh, there you go. There's one for the gallery. Maybe it's supposed to be a house for the player. Oh, interesting. All right. Okay, we've got more stuff down here. Uh, Just kind of dead end there. Okay, fair enough. Just a little hole into the mountain for reasons. Cost a bloody fortune to eat this place if you idiots are just digging holes into the mountain. Good lord. Oh, look at this. A big sexy statue. What the hell is this place? Use meditation mat. The hell? Oh, robes for the greybeards if we want. Oh, so we can actually become a full-on greybeard if we feel like it. Hood of Herman Mora, sure. Oh, so it's all the Nordic pantheons. Oh, those are cool. Be, those would be kind of fun to... Uh, Depending on who we've picked to follow. We could enchant those instead. That's kind of fun. Who is this? Hello? Who are you, big statue? It's like a lady. I don't know who it is. I'll be honest. Okay. Use meditation mat. Alright, I guess I will. Aim to end your meditation when below 20% stamina. Oh, I... You've got to count it. Oh, cool. When do you think? Like now? Did I do it? Meditation, meditation interrupted early. What the fuck? Uh, okay. Maybe, maybe you're, you're actually supposed to know. But, oh, what is this? Who oh, is notes. My fellow students of the theme were called by the way of the voice. There were many depths of the five schools of magic. Trained from the initiation to draw the words along the signs, sides of their diagrams and seek patterns where there were none. Oh, interesting. Mortal, peace, trust, essence, unleash, strike, annihilate. Arcane helix. Oh my god, is there new... Oh. Are there new shouts for us as well? Geomagnetism? Iceborne? Lone's, Lone's shadow, is that? Strength never dying? Life stream, lightning shield, what the fuck? Give me those. Hell yeah. So maybe if we meditate, we get to learn one of those one of those words. I think because we've got uh immersive HUD, I think it's disappearing before we're able to to activate that. Let me see if I can change that quickly. We'll find out what this does. Oh no. I just tried it then and our stamina regenerated like faster than it was disappearing. I don't know what caused that. It just watch the bar when we first start. It jumped back up. The first time I tried this. Uh, maybe it's working this time. Okay. Normally the the hot icons appear when you fall below a certain amount of stamina. Anyway, so maybe we'll just let it let it run here. I think it's because it occasionally regenerates because of our robes that we've got. We'll just keep going, and see what happens. This is so weird. I'm waiting for the the hot to pop back up. <coughs> If not, <laughs> fuck off, Inigo. I'm meditating. If, if not, we'll, um, I'll mess around with the settings and sort that out for next time. And we'll just kind of see what it does. It's not popping up, is it? Oh. Oh. Is this it? Is Martinez ascending? What is going on here? 
Did that work? Meditated too long. Oh. Whatever. I'll time it in the future. It doesn't really matter too much right now. So then, let's go to the Snow Elf one, which is here. I guess we'll head up from, probably from Riverwood, right? Then we'll go to the other one as well. That, in theory, should allow us to open the door in the Silent Moons camp that we saw and get a magic book, which we can put on display and, and kind of siphon knowledge from. I guess it's kind of similar to like a black book from Hermaeus Moore or something like that. Um, it's this way, right? Uh, yeah, we need to go through the other side of Riverwood and head up through the middle, though. Oh, it's bloody dark. Okay, let's let some time pass and then we'll see what we can do. Right. Okay. Uh, through here, yeah? You know what? Leave it with me. I'll, I'll find it. Won't take that long. There you go. Here we are. Oh, you see why we're all the way over there in the distance. At the Snow Elf Shrine. Right, so we just give you a bit of a bit of a boop. There we go. Oh, nice. I did Todd Howard it up the side of the mountain. Inigo couldn't quite get up, so he's like down here somewhere. Um, there's a path that leads kind of halfway up. Actually, I don't know where he is. Has he made it up too? No way. Uh, anyway, I climbed up this way in the end. Uh, let's head to the next one then. I don't think that's the way you're supposed to do it. Again, just to clarify, we're using a combination of whirlwind sprint and brute force. Constantly spamming the jump button. This one looks easy. It's just from the dragon's bridge then. We'll see what this Malrus Codex is. Someone asked me to do this a few episodes back and I said we'd take a look at it and then and I didn't. I'm so sorry. Oh, we've also got a level up too. I suppose that's... Oh. What are you freaking out for? Dragon? No? Looks like we just caught them. Like, off duty or something. Oh shit, it's the Dragonborn. Quick. <laughs> Everybody get in position. All right, let's have a look. Uh, here we go. You know what? I think we've seen this before, haven't we? It's a runestone. Retrieve Maris's Codex. That's it then. Right, so we go back to Silent Moon's camp. Uh, I don't know why it sounds to go in there. Very weird. Oh, unless I guess maybe it thinks Silent Moon's camp is the actual, like, Lunar Forge itself. Maybe that's where the map icon is. That's our thing, activating, because there's very angry bandits here. Uh, let's use Sunbeam. Because there's going to be so many, we're going to have to do a lot of dodging here, I assume. Must die. Some sooner than others. Mind control spider. Oh, cool. Somebody said that's a vanilla mechanic, but you only get it like a like one cave of the game? I've never even seen it before. I've never even heard of it. So it's kind of a good idea. They did put it in... Uh... Hello. Uh, found you. It's probably a good idea they did put it in then, isn't it? As an, uh, an enchantment perk. Otherwise, you never fucking you see it. Oh. There we go. What have they got over here then? Lunar armor forging. I should probably take that. I'm surprised that isn't something for the gallery. Oh, God. Because she piled up the bodies here. Nice work. Uh, executioner's hood. You never know. It might be something we need. I doubt it. But the executioner's axe was. So I didn't know if it was like a like a one-off thing. You can actually get it, can't you? If you like interrupt the execution of Rogvir, I think you can uh, you can get it normally. All right. Down we go. Let's have a look. Maurus's Codex. Show me. There it is. Boom. Completed the Book of Wonders. In you go. Help. Okay, we're good. Let's close that back up. There we are. So what is it then? Maurus's Codex. Let's have a read. So I take the abilities of Maurus's Codex. Use the power in the spells menu. The pages of the Codex are packed with useful information. Notes from, from Maurus. Using its pages, you can gain experience of his explorations as you peruse your own. Codex gives you the ability to study one random skill point for every 20 locations you discover. Simply choose study from the menu that appears when using the Codex ability. Codex can be utilized once a day with connection with legacy supported mods to ha you have loaded. Oh. Oh, look at that. Ethereal weapons and armor. 30% chance of finding Ethereum ore and 5% chance of Ethereum ingots inside each Dwemer boss chest. Fossil mining. Captured fairies mod. Display 12 or more fairy cages in the museum to gain friend of the Fae. Making predator animals in springs non-hostile. Oh my god, there's loads of stuff. Cool. Okay. I mean, it looks fantastic, doesn't it? It looks better than the Ogmer Infinium does in the bloody base game. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, that was a good shout. That was a, that was a good idea to get that as soon as possible. We'll set up the fossil mining ability, I think, because that's going to take a long time to fill up if you only get it when you mine ores and shit like that. This is not the kind of place you want to get comfortable in, my friend. No. Let's head out then. Well, that was pretty productive, I think. So we've unlocked some sort of new thing in the Greybeards uh, in High Rothgar. We've done Maurus's Codex. We've defeated Potema. That was quite a lot we managed to cram in there, eh? 
Let's get back to the gallery and I'll get everything sorted out because I actually hadn't sorted out since last time because I thought that NPC in the gallery was someone that wanted to speak to us. So I thought best not, you know, accidentally launch a quest or whatever and miss out on that. But turns out she actually didn't give a fuck. Very rude of her. What if she's still in here? I really should be getting back to Master Neloth, she says, on the wrong bloody continent. One total display. And there we are. Thank you all for watching. A productive day. A lot of people are asking me to go and find Lucian, another companion who apparently has a lot of chats with Inigo. So I might do that tomorrow. I'm just a little bit concerned we might already be hyper overpowered. So having two companions along too might be a little bit too much. Um, if we do that, I might end up cranking the difficulty to master because I think we're on uh, I think we're on expert right now. So I might go ahead and put it on the hardest difficulty just to keep things nice and balanced. Uh, and then we'll craft some actual base game robes and do the I proper base game enchanting. Home of a hero. Oh, thank you. See you all tomorrow.